Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fire Center. I hope everyone is well. I've lit the sage, clearing out some weird energy. I hope. But I, I, I got the itch again today. Somebody needs to hear a message. I don't know who, I don't know from where, from what walk of life. Maybe you do. If you've stumbled upon this and it's not vibing with you, but you know somebody, send it along. If it is vibing with you, it's yours. So take whatever resonates, leave the rest. I'm going to say the blessing. We're going to get started. Heavenly Father, Mother of Holy Spirit, Spirit guides, Archangels, I ask for the clarity of mind and the peace of heart to be able to convey the message that needs to go to someone today. I thank you for the blessings you have given me. May the recipient of this message be blessed. One to show, one to go. Yin. Okay. I guess the cards have other ideas today. Huh. Nope. I guess we're not doing one to show, one to go. We're doing three to show. Of course, I did flip this one. Well, you've been exposed now, Wisdom Oracle. Yin. We'll just read the general description. Number two. The feminine principle of receptivity, letting someone else make the first move, gathering information and taking in cues, the art of conscious allowing. Number 48, poised. Being ready, bringing something to light, being at your best, confidence. And number 12, change in the wind. Oh. Oh. Don't say it, Faith. A sense that unseen change has been initiated. Preparation for a storm. Awareness that your plans are not on firm ground. Feeling a shift. Uncertainty about which direction the winds will blow. Conscious allowing, being ready, uncertainty. Plans may have changed for some of you. You read with the heaven and earth. It's it's a dark deck, <laughs> to say the least. I love it. The imagery is beautiful, but it's dark. So we'll just see what comes out. Let's bring some light into the darkness. Fire, earth, air, water, speak truth. All cards start out in the upright, by the way. They come out how they come out. I always sort my decks into the upright. Fire, earth, air, water, speak truth. Speak truth. You can tell I hardly ever play with this. They're still kind of stiff. Fire, earth, air, water, speak truth. Speak truth.
Queen of Wands. Hmm. I like her. She's sitting in fire. I like her. I mean, this is Fire Sign Tarot after all. She's sitting in fire. Give me more. Fire if there are water speak truth. Oh. King of Swords reversed. The Knight of Wands reversed. Somebody got quiet and pulled away. Somebody got quiet and pulled away. Strength reversed. One more. Somebody's drained. The High Priestess reversed. Nine of Cups reversed at the bottom of the deck. Oh, man. That's a change in the wind, indeed. Tarot with a new vision. It's a rider weight backwards. It's kind of fun. Tells a little bit more of the story for sure. Fire, earth, air, water, speak truth. Fire, earth, air, water, speak truth. of cups. Oh, hold on. Fire, thou water, speak truth. Fire, thou water, speak truth. Oh, double down. Four of swords, eight of pentacles. Wow. To be drained and restless at the same time. Fire, thou water, speak truth. Fire, if I want to speak truth. <sighs> Page of Cups reverse. Somebody stop talking. Nine of Wands. Somebody's walls are up.
It's a self-protection card. story unfolds. It started out as something very different. Um, okay. Queen of Wands. She's passionate. Just throw it at it. She's the sexiest one in the deck. I mean, she is. She's all about fire. She's all about passion. With the Queen of Wands on top of it, feelings. Feelings came into play. Deep emotion. That's a big old cup right there. I mean, that that's the thing you serve the cups out of. I forget what it's called. <laughs> the <ne> <sighs> The King of Swords in the upright is not afraid to speak his mind and not afraid to speak his truth. In the reverse, he's he's very quiet. He he's he's not speaking. And in the reverse, he's very emotional. Ten of Cups reverse something something couldn't come to fruition. We'll get a little clarity on that in a second. Something didn't complete. There was no emotion. Knight of Wands reverse, there's the pullback. Being ready for whatever comes, there was a pullback. Emotions got involved and whatever this was, was pulled back there's an ace of swords on top of it so it's the opportunity for a new beginning new conversations strength reversed four of swords reversed eight of pentacles reversed somebody doesn't want to work on this there's the change in the wind somebody's drained and, and needs to rest and can't and can't put the work and effort into it High Priestess reversed, Knave, Knave of Cups reversed. No communication. The High Priestess is the Keeper of Secrets. She's Keeper of Secrets. She's also, uh, talks about connections. No, no communication, no connection. Could be the denial of a connection. Nine of cups reversed, nine of wands in the upright. Defense, defensive. Somebody's not happy. Somebody's cups have been spilled. And somebody's on the defensive. Some, somebody's walling themselves up. I do not know who this is for, but bless you. Bless you. All right, we're going to get some clarity with the Rider Waite. Fire, earth, air, water. Speak truth. Speak truth. Fire, earth, air, water. Clarify the truth. Clarity in what's on this table right now. Fire, earth, air, water. Fire, earth, air, water. Okay. Seven cups. The confusion. Emotions got involved. Could have been both of you. 
somebody has to make a decision where this is going to go. Somebody is picking a cup. Weighing the options, weighing the odds. That does tell me that emotions did indeed get involved. That That's cops. Something started out with friends as benefits. With, uh, as friends with benefits. And it turned into something more and somebody's scared. That's the vibe I'm getting right now. Okay. Wow. 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 A little much. A little much. You know what? We're going to take them where they landed. Temperance reversed, Nine of Cups reversed again. <sighs> Restlessness. Can I keep mixing this? Can I mix this to make it work? Sagittarius. There could be a Sagittarius involved in this. I got fire. Could be a Scorpio, could be a Leo. I got Capricorn. Not a lot of Earth here. This is more thoughts and feel. Oh, there is Earth. More thought thoughts and feelings here. Okay. Okay. Sort it out. Sort it out. There's thoughts and feelings. Ah. Uh. Ten of Wands. It's, it's the release of a burden, so. Ten of Cups, Devil. The connection, you know, the Devil card, it can mean toxicities. It could represent a Capricorn. Where's a strong sexual connection? Ten of Cups, the emotional completion. It's the lifting of a burden. The acknowledgement of connection, but something has to come to an end. Somebody's trying to pull back emotions and can't. So they're pulling back other things. They're walking away. Not putting work into it. But the, this high priestess devil this this is strong this is powerful this is powerful all right I just swords reversed no messages no communication absolute silence Not putting in the work. Drained. Not taking the cup. Not giving the cup. Not looking at the three cups. Four cups reversed. Regret. Deep regret. Like maybe if I'm silent long enough, they'll just forget I exist. Wow. Wow. I am so sorry. Sometimes you gotta go down the rabbit hole. Bring back, bring somebody back into the light. Death. Two of Pentacles. death card. It's, it's transformation. It's rebirth. It's actually an extremely positive card. If you can get past the, the skeleton on the horse and the little kid trying to, I mean, there's a little kid trying to hand a skeleton flowers. That's beautiful. It, it, it's transformation. It's rebirth. There's, there's a sun coming up in the background. This is a positive card. 
it's positive transformation, but it, it's going to be a juggling act. Someone's very much imbalanced and indecisive where they want this to go. Queen of Wands, bottom of the deck. The feelings are still there. I love it when it ends where it started. The feelings are definitely still there. The, somebody's trying to cut off the emotional part. I mean, there's feelings and there's feelings if you're picking up what I'm putting down. Somebody's trying to deny the emotional feelings. Wow. Okay. Regeneration. 46. Regeneration. Kind of, you know, coincides with death. The tree drops the seed, the tree dies, the seed grows, and away the tree lives on. That's how I look at that card. Sometime, and, you know, trees take a break in the winter. They lose their leaves. They come back in the spring. Rebirth, second chances, new opportunities. See, this is positive. Second chances are available to you now. Whatever opportunities you thought were dead are now revived in a more authentic, stronger form. Whatever you may have perceived as a failure or loss is now being replaced by something better and more powerful growing in its place. This rebirth is assured. Step into your new life. Destiny is being fulfilled in wondrous ways. There was a change in the wind. There was a change in the wind. Open to the consciousness. Being ready for whatever comes. Poised and ready for whatever comes. Friends. Friends. This is beautiful. Oh, my old tarot lady. Spiritual person. It hurts. It's, uh, I feel the hurt. I feel the confusion. I feel how bad this sucks. But it doesn't suck. You get what I'm saying? It doesn't suck. Circumstances change. People are removed from your life because somebody else is supposed to come in. Or circumstances change between people because that was, was meant to happen. Being a bigger person, staying friends. I'm babbling at this point. Something will grow in its place, but it takes time. It takes a long time to grow a tree. All right, guys, know that you are loved. Be blessed. Whoever needs this, take care of yourself. Namaste, and I will catch you next time.